So you know what they say, when life happens, it happens. Well, let's say this, the last nine, 10 days, life has happened very quickly. From Colton being finally diagnosed with tonsillitis after about a year, and now we've got to get scheduled to have his tonsils removed. We had to take Zoe back to the vet and have her eye removed. I'll show you in a minute. She's our little pirate dog now. Then Meg had an aunt pass away. It's been a week, we'll say, and I'm not the guy that's gonna force my family into doing anything when there's so much going on. I hope you understand. If you don't, I'll pray for you to have some understanding. And my brain is not functioning very well right now. Tired to say the least. I've got to actually get Jerry scheduled. Me and him are going to take off and go get the axle for the side-by-side -side so we can fix it. We're going to do that on video. It's going to be a Bigfoot Chronicles, but we got to get everything to fix the side-by-side -side so we can get back on the hunt. I want to go back. You guys want me back up there? I want to go back up there because, listen, I find so much peace even in those mountains when chaos is happening. It's just my place. Why well, you think my nickname was always Hibbilly? Oh, and let's not even talk about these two piles of junk. If you are aspiring to do YouTube or social media or just buy a camera, these Sony cameras are a no. This one shuts off on itself. This is the Sony ZV-E10. Like, you'll just be recording and it'll shut off and everything that you said up to that point is gone. So that camera, I'm actually gonna throw it in the trash because it's got me so upset. Never really have been able to use it. It's always been a headache. And this little thing, if you bump it, like maybe if you're just doing a sit down product video and you're not using this as a tool that you carry around, it might be all right. But this thing, if you barely bump it, it messes the memory card up, corrupts the footage, do not. If you're vlogging, this Sony, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's the, it's their smaller Z, uh, ZV camera. Yeah, garbage. <sighs> Cause we vlogged a whole day. We had all, but maybe a little bit of it. Went to Pizza Hut and all this. Got was getting into the car and I bumped it when I was putting the kids, where I was setting it in the car to put the kids in the car seat, bumped it, corrupted every bit of the footage we had between the, things that we said at first and then the stuff these cameras has been doing i was just like <sighs> okay i gotta i gotta reset here before i throw this out into moving oncoming traffic hi hi don't feel me in your pants chloe has already shine she already called me out the kids were i gotta switch all the drawers out y'all chloe's room used to be colton's room and when we painted, they got to pick which room they wanted to be in permanently. And Colton picked the room closest to me and Sean. So everybody's drawers and clothes are mixed up. I didn't want to wake them up last night. So I got Sean's pants out of the dryer because it got mm -hmm. cold. But Chloe said, got up this morning. She said, Mommy, why do you have my daddy's pants on? Like, Earl, really? She called me out like that. Now listen. Just straight up. I'm about to call you out too. What? You're gonna have to just get used to chucking this five pound camera around. The little guys, cameras, I've had enough. Bear with me. I'm gonna have to work out my arm muscles because this camera gets heavy after a minute and I start going. Well, I, you could do this. And it's little. very sensitive. It's very sensitive. Like you could do that number right there and you don't even have to worry about it. And so, it is for stability at two-handed camera. It's a big cannon. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're just having fun and watching cartoons. Having fun and watching cartoons? Well, have fun and watch your cartoons then. Love you. Love you. 
All right, Meg's got the homeschooling for the kids done today. So we've decided to take the kids to the park or out on a hike or something. We really don't know where we're going to go yet. It's kind of spontaneous. All right, before Meg and him come out and we get ready to take off on our little adventure, Meg doesn't always do the homeschooling. Sometimes I handle classes. And right here, I want to just take a second to show you how I do homeschooling when I'm the teacher. So the way I figure it, all homeschooling and schooling in general shouldn't be done inside of a classroom. Sometimes you have to let them explore to learn because they will always ask you, what is that? So now it's time for a little hillbilly homeschooling. Now, guys, you see that tree right there? See mm. that one with the needle-like leaf? That is a pine tree. That's cool. Yeah, it's a pine tree. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Baby pine tree. That is a baby pine tree, Cece. Good job. Pine tree. Sorry. Yeah, good job. Do you guys like being out exploring nature? Yeah. Mid. Mid. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! All right, Cece, you see that yellow flower you wanting? That is called the giant ironweed. This bush right here is called the autumn olive bush. And it's a pain in the ass that's been put around here by the coal companies after they stripped all the land. They grow like crazy. But the deer love them. <laughs> Can I see them? And you see the autumn olive, honey? Grows these little bitty berries on them. You can eat them, but they ain't that great. I don't okay. think you would like them. Mm -hmm. Did you hear it, Bubba? Yeah. yeah. Say, say autumn olive. Can we eat them? You can eat them, but they just don't taste good. But I just want to taste. You're welcome to taste. No, just get one. You're welcome to taste one. Try it. Mm. <clears throat> oh, they're sour. I like them. I'm going to whip. Spark on it. Sour, ain't they? Mm. You're full of it. Now, Cece, Bubba, you see that? That's a wild carrot. I can tell you something about that plant. These little bugs called chiggers grow on them. And if you get into them, the chiggers will bite you and they'll go under your skin. And itchy. Very itchy. So stay away from those. You don't want chiggers. Tissy, did you know mud holes like that? Is yeah. Where all kinds of frogs live and then deers come to drink out of it. Yeah, look at the frog right there. I see. I see the frog. Where is it? I don't see any. It's gone now. It went under the water. Run over the frog. Yeah. Oh. Well, 
Well, I was doing one of my favorite things to do, taking a leak outside when the kids come out and jumped in the car. Where are we going, bud? I'm going on a adventure. Where are we adventuring to? At the park. At the park? Yeah. What if we go to Mars? No. 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 Why? Well, I thought every kid wanted to go to Mars. They don't. You sure? Sure. Yeah. You gotta say, hey, there's bears, so you gotta stay close to mom and dad, okay? Oh, so amazing. You gotta stay close. Oh, my hand. Colton, you have to stay close to mom and dad. Food right there in his mouth. Colton, stay close to mom and dad. I'm making the crow from. Okay, we got them with mom and dad. Hi. Where's the sand? So I know we've brought y'all up here before, but it's been a long time. The kids always love this place. So we decided to come to Mars again. Baba, be careful. Hey. Let's run, guys. Run! Fall down and get a boo-boo. Oh, oh stop, Bubby. Sissy, be very careful. Come here. Slowly but surely. Go on. Bare feet. Go see. Oh, no. Yes, those are bear tracks. Are they? Yes. Mommy, those are bear tracks. I want to go up there. That, Wait a minute. Let's no. Look around. But the other one, oh. yes. Mom, there's more bear tracks. Look, Colton. Bear tracks. There's more. You guys, this is still a favorite of mine. Even though we have been here a hundred times, it is just like a hidden little gem <laughs> here in the mountains. Colton's just yelling to the time. He's having the time of his life, just squealing all he wants to. But, um... This place is just a hidden little gem in these mountains. When you drive by, you would never expect that this is all here. I mean, I love it. It's just the sweetest little spot. If you guys are ever in our area, check this place out. It's so peaceful. Watch for bears. But there's little fire pits set up, little rock chairs. But I figured today, after I got done with school with the kids, I was like, let's take them somewhere on a little adventure. And I was like, Let's take them to the sand, you know, because we in the mountains here, they ain't much of it, but we do have a little treasure here. What'd you find? Look at it. Open your eyes. Let me see. What is that? It's a stick. Oh, it's a stick. Bubba, are you loving this sand? Cold. Is it cold? It's so cool, huh? It's not every day we get to play in sand, is it? <gasps> 
Yeah, more. What are you doing? Looking for sand fleas? Yeah. <laughs> you no know sand fleas? They fly up the sky. Oh my goodness, they do? Yeah. I had no idea that they flew. When black flies show there, they be a sand fly. Oh my goodness. Well, we don't want to take them home, do we? Yucky. Ow! It's a snowball. That's a sand ball. Now, I don't know if Meg told you, but like one of our origin stories we had talked about on our podcast, which we are getting back into these fall, we're just going to start doing them in the living room. But the podcast, when we was talking about our origin story, about when we messed up the vehicle and had to drive, this is where we was at when I busted that oil pan. But we had come up this lower road. It's really rough. I don't know about now. It used to be, and we drove right up here. But getting up here, I busted the oil pan. This is where we was at. We've been coming to Mars for a long, long time. Hey, come on, girl. Let's go see what else. Daddy, Bubby, wait for us. I found a walking stick. That's kind of short. I need a walking stick. Well, come on. We'll find you one. What about this one? Will this one work? Yeah. I don't know if that one's long enough. Oh, it is. That's a long one. That's a big one, ain't it? I found you one, sis. Where? Right here. Yeah, right there's you. Whoa, I need that lock. There you go. She says walking stick and then commences to run wide open. I'm beginning to think she's trying to trick them because she's going the way out. I say, I got the giant stick to take. No, boom! That's exactly right. She's all mine. Oh. Oh, you found a flower. <laughs> Mommy's for you. <laughs> it is. I love it so much. Thank you. We got our stick. I've been asked why I'm not in a lot of this footage. Like, somebody's got to film it. I don't mind because the memory's here. They know I was here. I'd do it for you guys. Mommy's way back there. And you know, I not only have these videos on, you know, YouTube, but I have them all backed up on an external hard drive. No way if one day we want to go back and say YouTube's not a thing, we can go back and uh, watch all these memories. Let the kids see what it was like when they was little. Like I've got footage you guys have never seen that I just filmed see what this and is? uploaded to a camera. It says stay close to your mommy and daddy. Bears. It says close to your mommy and daddy. Sorry, daddy. <laughs> Good thing they ain't very Mommy, it says that way. It says that way. It says this way. Now, here. Let's hey, she knows how to read an arrow. She was right. Daddy, we're going to check for snakes, all right? I told them we had to check for snakes in this tall grass. Here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. See any bear? Check it. Wait, Chissy. You got to check with your stick first. No snakes. You sure about that? Yeah. There's more. Don't walk in the hall. It's a tall grass. Oh, well. It's the shrine of pooping stools. It's a table. Look, I got a see. fire pit. We can look here. That's in case you get stuck up here at night and you need to keep warm, but you have to be very careful if you build a fire. You have to make sure you put it out before you leave. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? Is that green moss? Yeah. Yeah, I feel of it. It feels like carpet. Yeah, yeah. It's really soft. Mommy. What? You got your... You, let me get that sand off your face. Oh. Mommy? Cece, I found... You a flower. Oh, thanks. You're so welcome. Mommy. Once we get done up here, we're actually going to swing by Food City. I got to get some tomato juice, 
some chili seasoning and something else. I can't remember what it is right now. Oh, sour cream, because we're gonna make some chili this evening. Something we're gonna stretch out because, listen, bills are rough and times are hard. I don't know if anybody's getting a Christmas card. Later in the week, we're gonna do some soup beans, maybe some salmon patties. Meg, of course, I'll fry her and the kids up some taters. I can't. Oh, and it saddens me eat potatoes anymore. It was my favorite food. I loved it as a side with everything, whether it's mashed, fried, or gratin, like hash browns. I miss my potatoes, but I can't eat them. They crash me out. I've got to change my ways. Hey, At least I can still eat corn chips. Though. Let me tell you something. I'm craving some good chili, and I can't Mommy. wait. It is the season. Y'all, the weather is perfect today. It is literally like 72 degrees, and it feels phenomenal. Listen, Mommy. we hit a lot of days of 90 in Kentucky this year with a lot of humidity. Mommy, let's and not very little rain very this year. Very little rain. Mommy, let's camp. Let's go this way and see what else. No. Sure. Come on, Dora the Explorer. I'm coming, Dad. Mommy, come and look. I found a nut. She's a nut, I promise. Here's a clue. This is all a clue that a hippie made every bit of this. Just random TVs and monitors. Old and bubble TV. Mommy, look at the computer. We got this and this and look. This. It says the den of anti antiquity and sports bar. <gasps> Let's, go. Let's, go. Let's go. Mass amounts of hallucinogenics may or may not have played a role in all of this being formed as well. Do you remember what happened the last time we was here? Yeah, you ran the uh, drone into a tree. Yeah. Yeah, last time we was at this spot, I crashed my drone into this very tree above my head. That one right there. We gotta run. Daddy, there's a bear here. I think that's my cue to move. Dad! What? Hold my hand. Alright, let's go. Daddy, this is It's chili time. This is perfect chili weather. Now I've shared this recipe before and I'm gonna do my best to, to show you again. Cause I always make a few little changes here and there to try to, to up up the taste of it. But my chili in itself, because of the beans, has always been controversial. Everybody's like chili doesn't, or beans doesn't belong in chili. And I don't think beans belong in hot dog chili, but chili to fill your gut up, it's a very good filler for this meal. Tomato juice, beef broth, Chili seasoning. Listen, don't ask. My mom started me on this when I was a kid and it just tastes like chili to me. Anything made with anything other than French's just doesn't taste like chili to me. This may not be your case, but for me, French's. Tomatoes, beans, more beans, mater paste, more maters. An onion and of course some hamburger meat. First thing first, go sweat off the onions. You might like a hard crunchy onion, I don't. Sweat that baby off. Now for the burger. Gonna make it real meaty. Burger. I forgot to push record. After you brown your meat, add one pack to your meat and some beef broth. I got it this time. Let this all simmer together for a bit. Add your can of tomato juice right now. Take your other pack of chili seasoning. Dump it right in the pot. Get your mater, mater paste. Add it directly into the pot. Oh, look at that meat is soaking up. Oh, that beef broth. 
which is going to replace all the moisture that was sucked out of this meat when cooking. See, there's always a method behind my madness. You just got to understand it. Now my chili beans, I poured in sauce and all. Now I took my kidney beans and my maters and I drained all the juice off of these. You see, and now we're just going to add them right to the pot. And we're going to make a big old mess while we do it too. Ow! Gonna add some black pepper. I swear by mineral salt. Just listen to me. I'm gonna throw some mineral salt in there. Now we're just gonna let that all cook together. Mm. Like I said, I do the chili in a bag top. Put your chili on top of your Fritos. Cheese. I didn't listen to more cheese. You do it more cheese. Top it with sour cream. It's mixed in. You good? I can taste the sour cream. I promise I put sour cream in it. But that's down there. Well, I put sour cream in it. Is it good, sis? Well, with yeah. You like it? Mm -hmm. Mama? Good it's as good. always. It's always, always good. Bubba, you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Now Meg's mom and aunt's on their way to come get them a bowl, so I'm gonna shut this oh. camera off. Bill. Not focusing on my face. I'm gonna shut this camera off, and uh, I'm gonna eat my chili. Bowl.